It's tabletop time. I am Dave. And I am Elle. And I am Marty. Get more breathy. <laughs> Get more breathy. <laughs> that was a breath. Just breathe. <laughs> I'm Jen. Go on, Jen. I just said, hi, Jen. <laughs> and I'm Jen. <laughs> Welcome to JSMR. Thank you for joining us all. Uh, thank you. The, uh, the big yes. thank you especially needs to go to thank our patrons. You. But <laughs> the big thank you. Patreon. <laughs> Thank you so much to our patrons. <laughs> I gotta say, thank you to our patrons. Well, especially because this whole adventure has been so fun so far, but I, I bet you so many. <laughs> it's not an Auntie Donna skit. <laughs> the ocean was Let's fine. do the read. Let's do the read. Let's do the read. <laughs> So, <laughs> so far there have been actually a surprising amount of what we call patron NPCs throughout this adventure seamlessly woven into the plot. These are characters sort of brainstormed with our patrons, with our narrator. We held a raffle uh, a couple every month, I believe, and Im implemented them into the story. And there's been heaps so far, and there's a bunch tonight, including some, some ones with original art. There's a whole bunch of custom art coming up tonight too, uh, all thanks to Alicia's hard work and really thanks to patrons for supporting us and enabling us to do it so thank you for supporting us and if you want to help us continue making the best content possible and putting everything we can into it your your support really makes that possible so please consider checking it out links in the description it's fun to be in on the bit. <laughs> the la last week I was like, what? Now I'm just like, yeah. okay, if this is what we're doing, embrace it, I'll embrace be a goose silly. too. Yeah. Nah. But this goose Honk. is honking in the right direction because we're going to start episode eight. We're running a little bit late. So in our previous episode, our adventurers finally got the HM cut as they bumped into Ember, a ranger who's been stranded on the island for a while, who with a Rotom phone ring ringing and the chief, the leader of her town that she needed to return to, Ember jumped on her Altaria and flew away, leaving the party members worried about Team Ironclad. Who are these Ironclad people? And what are they doing? Blocking the bridge ahead. Uh, better go heal your Pokemon and find out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're blocking the bridge out on the other side of town. They're blocking the bridge to the town that you want oh, to she, go to. She, she so they can't heal our Pokemon. You can no, you can go them. back through the cave to Nurse Joy and okay. cut the tree right. down and do all like the cut stuff. Yes. Everything we see. And oh. I'm in charge yeah. now, aren't I? You you can you lead are. Team Iron Bread. I'm gonna lead the way back to what I'm familiar with because it's nighttime and I'm scared and my my poor Fomantis is struggling. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Whoa. Despite what the background art Despite would suggest. The daytime <laughs> visuals. But don't worry, that it won't provided. be nighttime forever. I'm gonna, I, I'm, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna say while I've also been, uh, you know, starting to get into the groove of battling, this ironclad, the name sends shivers down Brad's spine. Uh, and it seems a little, actually, can I, can I do any sort of check to know if there's, in my professorial uh, experience or history, if there's any sort of teams sure. experience that I've yeah, yeah. that sort of thing. Uh, absolutely. Can I get you to do... I think it's just an understanding. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's just your brain power. What do you know? All right. Well, let's figure that out. I got three. Ooh. You have heard not of Team Ironclad. No. But you have heard of the Ironclad Oil Company. You're not oh. sure if they're related, but Team Iron Ironclad Oil Company would never, ever, ever be associated with any nefarious wrongdoing. The three oil spills in the different regions, don't worry about that. They're cleaning it up. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, and, you know, sort of the... the Trading on the, the rumors about like Pokemon labor law issues. Don't worry, it's all <laughs> it's all a lie made by the climate lobby. Uh, <laughs> Ironclad Petroleum Corporation is fine, and you certainly have never heard definitely confirmed anything about a team Ironclad doing nefarious things. Okay, but the name's certainly similar. Okay. Um, look, it's late. <sighs> 
I don't know, what do you guys think? It seems like we're, we'd be opting in for a fight. I'm not sure what we're up to. And then the Pokemon narrator uh, for the start of the episode is like, will our heroes <laughs> dive headfirst into disaster by yeah. ignoring the Pokemon Center and striving forward yeah. and then losing? Or will common sense prevail? No. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. I'm... <laughs> I mean, we made a promise to the townspeople and... You know, You're right. I'm sure we're not the only one who are in need of a Pokemon. Right. There's a lot of people what depending promise? on us. And oh, hey, we said we'd prove that we could help. Mm. This is it. This is our chance. Okay. We'll get helped in, you know, and in we turn have as okay. well. So we go get back. Get a little nap, have a little, you know, breakfast for once, and come back fighting. You always think about food. Yeah, well. I still ha haven't eaten. Have I still? I still haven't eaten. No, not a meal. That guy, that guy gave us a meal. I really want to go back to camp. Yeah, yeah, no, you oh, did. You yeah. had some damper and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But you're still hungry. Again. It was a morsel. Yeah. You, know, you, you had you a, a vicious fight yeah. afterwards. So. That's true. <laughs> I say we go back. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's go. <gasps> Yeah, the, oh, there are the Pokemon that just died in real life. <laughs> no, it was the old version of the cards, and I keep confusing them. So I'll just get rid of them. All right, head back. Okay, okay. You Can turn I, around, and I, we will go to the beautiful Kabloom use Flash. Caverna es Escura, and uh, I guess who's leading? Brad. Mm -hmm. That's me. Bradley. There we go. Bradley. <laughs> Kabloom uses Flash. Yeah. We are in. Oh. Caverna Escura. Oh, my eyes. And you may journey heading I like, south. I like to imagine that because Kabloom switches on its butt, it farts. It flashes. So oh. Let's <laughs> oh, see, flashes, that's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Hey. Because, yeah, it's his bum. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's clever. Genius. You I deserve try. the Pokemon with the switch on its butt. <laughs> I deserve you the flashing it. Pokemon. Yeah. It's Thanks. too much power for anyone else. <laughs> Use it wisely. Yes, give it to the 10 year old child. Hehe, <laughs> 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 Kabloom is flashing. <laughs> just, okay. just switching it on and off. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> so, uh, now that you're in the cavern, there are two obvious ways. There was the rocky climb up uh, to an area you hadn't been before or back the way you came. Like, I wanna, uh, can I, like, use... Oh, I guess it would be coordinate. No, coordination is like. What are you? What are you trying to do? Just find the most direct route back. So maybe you're, you don't I'm need to roll for that. You already know because you, you came through. I go on the most direct. route So back. you're just heading the most direct yeah. route back. I mean, it, going from knowledge that you have. <laughs> I have dying Pokemon. <laughs> going from the knowledge yeah. that you have. So if there's like a way there that you've never been, there would be no way that you would know it's yeah. quicker. So it's same way. All right. So you journey back. Uh, make a wild Pokemon encounter. Ooh, check. make a check. Yeah, let's do it. Boop. We're safe. All right. And as you journey winding through the dark cave, I'll get you to make another one. <gasps> There'll be a few of these. you got to roll two Dream. dice now. Oh. <laughs> okay. The as for those rolls. who, uh, for some reason, tuning in at episode eight, uh, as you continue to journey, the judge. odds of bumping one, uh, bumping into a Pokemon increase. Then you head out to that first, you, you make it through, it takes you about 10 minutes. It's not a particularly huge cave uh, when you know the directions and you make it to the entrance way. Another check. We're safe. You're still safe. And then you pop out of the bottom, arriving in route three, which is the forest where Luca is no longer standing at the entrance. Uh, to your right, you can jump down a ledge and you'll arrive Pretty much immediately back at the town. All right. Is, I think it's wait, this way. Yeah, we just yeah. popped down the ledge. Before you go anywhere, Brad, we I know that directly off to the side, there's a tree that we could, uh, you know, give a little practice on. Oh. A practice and cut. Directly beyond that, there's another tree. And beyond that. Loot! A, yeah, there is, mate. And you got loot? And you got loot. Wait, no, I, I, no. Someone got, other it, people got loot. Just I didn't sorry. Get loot. Yeah, just sorry. Just sorry. You, <laughs> yeah, was you I got the belt. So, <laughs> yeah. Look at this old belt. <laughs> yeah. And you snatched the loot from someone else, didn't uh, you? Yeah, I was too sorry. Yeah. I was distracted. It's okay. fine. <laughs> and you're suggesting. Looks better on him anyway. That I go to the loot. Don't you dare. <laughs> This is my loot. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go. There's uh, no grass. You're going <laughs> to jump good. on him the same way you jumped on the Pokeball last time. <laughs> <laughs> in the direction right. of the uh, 
of the tree to my left as I exit the cave, the, okay. the east. You walk over, uh, you know, the short distance towards the two nefarious looking gangster trees uh, who are pretending not to be Pokemon as they stand there. All right, so who knows cut? Is it Nutbush? Uh, not <laughs> It's Cookie. Cookie. I think you were trying to guess Cookie Nutbush. Uses. Nah, it's, I'm just calling it Nutbush okay. now. I've decided. So your Kabuto crawls over, pops out of its Pokeball, and just like waddles over to these trees and just sort of climbs up the tree, climbs up to its face, and there's this little hollow where like you're assuming its eyes and its mouth are. And then Cookie just goes like that. Every Everyone who's seen that vine of the people in the in the Halloween store when he like sticks the <laughs> finger down oh my the gosh. and just is it Kabuto just sticks its leg in this thing's mouth and there's just like <laughs> and then, and then the pseudo Wudo just like wobbles and then like takes three steps back and then scurries into the uh, forest with the oh, leaves up in its head. Yeah. Wait, was that a cut? Was that? Is that the do cut? I believe I'm it was not a, sure. I believe it was a throat poke. <laughs> that was actually a deep cut. It was a deep cut. <laughs> it was a deep cut. Do you get it? Do you get it? It was a really oh, long reference. So mm-hmm. it was a deep it cut. It was a deep cut. The reference that was the was joke. The vine. The, the vine where the thing a, goes down the throat. Okay. It should be a deep cut right. to your ego. Also, vines are pretty good against rock Pokemon, so it yeah. checks out. <laughs> And you clear it. Hooray! Okay. Huzzah! And I'm assuming you're heading towards the Golden Glow <gasps> Grove of Light that was leading in. Yes. To oh, you said the there was no grass! There's grass oh. surrounding it. Oh. Surely there's nothing unsafe well, at all as that get in the way of me and the loot. I mean, we don't have to progress. We know it's there. You could always turn back. Cut and the let tree. someone else get all it. All right. <laughs> as, uh, as you get up to the tree, Kabuto walks forward. And then um, the the Pokemon nods its head down, this crutch punching uh, <laughs> Pokemon. And Kabuto looks up and you hear this. <laughs> and then the creature, the other Pokemon, just puts its branches to its eyes and you, <laughs> just runs off into the thing. It's really vicious mockery on the portrait. He just cut him. Oh. Emotionally. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. I hope you have more of these. I just want to see. Just Every even, time we use just, cut. Yeah, I don't want to see one boring this, old. This version of uh, HM cut can't be used in combat. It can only be used out of combat because it's just Kabuto like insulting Pokemon and trolling them. It's a hurtful machine. <laughs> yes. Or it's shouting, redo, try another take. Cut. Oh, HM. Just yes. Got it. Okay. Uh, so right, in front of you. you is this grove. There is a beam of moonlight coming through the treetops mm-hmm. and, a, and a bunch of items in the center of this area. Sure. Okay. Uh, I, you have to add another one. There's four dice. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. In a very Ministry of Silly Walks style anime sneak, Make I'm a stealth trying check. to like tread over the... Make a stealth oh, wisdom can check. I, can I stealth to avoid... I'm asking for it. All right, bloody... T- We're past the tutorial. Yeah. We can be a bit more... All right. Role play. Bam, two. Two successes. Okay, so I'm going to say with two successes in this very slow sneak that you can stay at three dice. All right. I like Not go to four. Ha! And we're good. And you're good. You sneak in and there is a small uh, Silphco Pokeball shaped storage device, an old one covered in dust. And as you pop the top of it open, there's a little whoosh of air as the sealed environment uh, closes up. And inside, Actual you things. see three items. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, this was a special one. After, like, sneaking delicately, I'm, like, shouting. There's, like, an (laughs) anime exclamation mark over my head. I'm like, Pokeballs and an orange berry. What? I'll come to you. Just wait. (laughs) I want to get back into sneak mode. Okay. Stealthily. Yeah, make another stealth check. All right. We just see, like, the grass just part as you're sneaking And I critical failed my stealth. Well, no, I didn't. I just didn't get any single success. Okay. Cool. Okay. Roll your Pokemon check at full. All right. Am I still safe? You're still safe. All right. All right. You sneak out. And then I'm guessing you're heading back west to the ledge jump down what area. What'd you get? Oh, I got two Pokeballs and an Oran Berry. Wait, I owed someone a Pokeball, didn't I? No. I owed yeah. someone? I used it and failed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Here you yeah. go, dude. Thank you. 
Cheers, mate. And, uh, Orenberry. What is it? You know what? I'm going to hold on to this. We might, uh, we might be all right by the time we get back to Nurse Joy. Let's go. And I head straight back to camp. You jump down the leafy leaf. Yeah. Actually, before we get into town, Brad, I just want to have a, a quick look in the bushes over here. Oh, and boy, this, I would this like always to goes well. Forage for berries. You absolutely may forage for berries. Just sticks his head in and all you see is... No berries here! <laughs> uh, I just want to remind you of a Just joke. a lot of bees! Oh! <laughs> it's three in the morning, so... <laughs> you can look for berries. I thought you were hungry. I'm hungry and tired. He's not looking for berries oh, for me. You need some oak. <laughs> <laughs> That's my cousin. Hmm? Oak. Professor Oak. That's your cousin? Well, he's my own. I'm your cousin. Well, you know, that's... Professor I was making Oak a bad is joke. your... <laughs> Second, third cousin Father? twice removed. <laughs> twice removed. Uh, I'm just missing ass pear berry. No, oh, no, we had so many. Pear. They're the we best so berries. All right, here you go. All of them. We gave you I found. Are found you rolling yeah. your... Oh, oh you, you don't need to roll. No, it's not a roll. Yeah. He just I randomly mean, gets one of the, like... Ten nice. different berries that exist. Nice. What did you get? Chesto. Chesto berry. Very good. Cool. I found something. <gasps> What'd you find? Oh, it's uh, one of the funny looking berries. Uh, it's a Chesto berry, I think. Mm. Uh, this one can uh, re recover a Pokemon from sleeping. By Ooh. just shoving it down its esophagus, so it wakes things up pretty quick. Nice. I should try that to Brad. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> to wake you up in the morning. Yeah. Sleep does sound good. Let's go. And you arrive in town. Yay. Leaning up against a tree and sleeping, uh, but clearly meant to be on watch, is the crew member who you ran past earlier. And you quickly get back into town. A lot of people are in their little cots and in bed. Uh, but you do see Nurse Joy and Chansey fretting up over by the grove. Do the Chansey noises. Chansey. What does Chansey do? <laughs> Chansey. Hello, Chansey. Chansey. Yeah. Love the day of Chansey noises. Chansey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chansey. Some, everyone's Chansey. got a different Chansey noise. Some it's true. late night fretting going on over there. We should go help her. Yes. Nurse Joy, why Let's. are you up at 3 a.m.? <laughs> Lita, go. Poke. Nurse Joy, good news. And I like grab Kabuto and just like hold it up. <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, your Pokemon look very hurt. Check this out. And I like. Oh, 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 so, sorry, Victor. <laughs> oh my, your Pokemon look very hurt. I'm Nurse Joy. Yeah, also, the way you're throwing Kabuto exists. No, no, Pokemon. the trees. Yeah. At, the tre yeah. at, the, uh, at the trees that need cutting. Go, go, uh, Gadget. Uh, Cut. <laughs> It's a different. Kabuto, uh, tell you what, can I get you to roll a defensive roll? <laughs> uh oh, my geologist. What's the combat roll of. Yeah, Kabuto. geologist. Yeah, okay. yeah Kabuto. Kuji. Looking for four. Two. Uh, scratch. <laughs> You take two damage oh. as Kabuto. You like you, you grab this Kabuto that you didn't capture, this fossil Pokemon, you shake it around, and then you attempt to throw it and say, go, go, gadget, Kabuto. And it just goes like, and just slashes you across the face, anime style, of course. So you have the, like the big lines across your face like Ash Ketchum has all the time. Uh, oh, boy. And then it scuttles uh -oh. back to Brad and like clambers up your back like a trilobite. It goes back to Brad. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a trilobite backpack. Victor, Victor, sorry. <laughs> it's like a trilobite backpack uh, for Victor. <laughs> oh, good cookie. You used carts. <laughs> Bro. Are you okay? I'm, I'm oh, fine. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm still figuring out this whole Pokemon boundary thing. Yeah, I don't think you can instruct other Pokemon. Right. Wait. It you... sort of felt like it was mine because I threw a Pokeball at him and failed, but I tried, so I thought we yeah. had a connection. In, anyway. po in Pokemon language, Kabuto under its breath, Kabuto, Buto, Buto, and it's like, that was a different Kabuto. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, was no. my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that guy. <laughs> he was one of my 7,000 brothers. Uh, so, Nurse Joy's like, did you manage to find what we needed? <clears throat> yes. Uh, yeah. 
Kabuto, could you please use cut? Kabuto. Yeah. Mum mumbles over. The bushes, not our bread. Mm. Yes, uh, <laughs> a little bit to the left this time. <laughs> What? Chancy. <laughs> Chancy. <laughs> what? There's like a moment of of like Kubutu wa Shindua. Oh my goodness. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then there's everything goes black for all of you for a split second. Oh, yes. And there is like a white like like reality being rent across the sky. And then Everything comes back to normal, <laughs> and two trees, the top branches of them just go like <laughs> and collapse to the ground, and the pseudo widows are nowhere to be seen. And then uh, Kabuto lifts up its little claw and like pretends to sheath its own arm <laughs> and then like nods. Wow. Oh, blimey. Good thing you didn't use that one on you. <laughs> wow, that is effective. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Super effective. The berries, the berries, yes. Oh my gosh, this means I can start my Pokemon Center. Thank you so much. This this is everything we need. Hey! Hey. (laughs) We did it. Nice. Uh, Do you think we should go to uh, the steward, uh, what's her name, the organizer, and let her know? Oh, the uh, entertainment manager, I think it was. Yeah, uh, what's her name? I didn't know, but she knew all our names. Wow, that's rude. (laughs) We, uh, maybe lady. we should tell her that what, there's like, episode you know, one. yeah, it was a, <laughs> and which was like, I think three months ago. <laughs> yeah. We should tell her there's like, you know, a whole, uh, thriving it was, it was civilization Leah from ship services. Yeah. I head towards Leah. Okay. You wander over and she's busy, uh, hammering nails with her sleeves rolled up into like what looks like the Damn. frame of a Pokemon center. No, uh, the no sailor guy is having a nap over by the side. 3 a.m. These she people are working. Around. It's not, yeah. You've decided it's 3 a.m. It is like, it's like 10 p.m. Oh, I okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> She turns around. Well, howdy. How you doing? Hey, Leah. You're looking real productive there. Got to be productive if you want to stay alive on a desert island with no support from anyone. Oh, yeah, oh well, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday. <laughs> about okay? that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Corporate won't answer the phone. Because <laughs> he likes to shake some mobile phone. I think it's broken. Uh, yeah, I do too. Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely time. Well, we found the HM cut and we uh, opened up to the trees to nurse Joy so that we, she can help people. Uh, and other good news, we found a thriving civilization and city and people who have been here for a long time. She looks around slowly. Has your friend been eating, <laughs> well, drinking from the... The heavy coconuts? Yep. It's beside the point. <laughs> no, these things make you hallucinate really badly when they're rancid. No, for real. Like, back me up, go guys. Coco Loco. Yeah, uh, we ran into a ranger who has been in here quite a while, apparently. Uh, and they verified that, yes, the phones don't work here. But they had a Rotom phone, which was uh, definitely operational. <laughs> the discovery is there have been other ships that have been stranded here. Well, more, more than ours. In that case, and she like stands up tall, rotates. Imagine I do a full rotation, my chair can't rotate. Oh, 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 like oh. an owl. Oh. <laughs> Podcast listeners, he is awkwardly rotating. I can't rotate the way around. <laughs> and but I'll, pre- I'll, I'll re- bring, it, bring it back from PR. It's she goes, different directions. I will send you on a vital mission to scout out these people and find out if they would be a suitable match for the. Costa Rewards program and to join the <laughs> cruise family. Wait, what? Do we join the cruise family? Are what? we a part of the rewards? Of program? course. Is this an MLM? Uh, I'm in charge nah. of the survivors in the captain and the first officer's absence. And it is very important that we all make sure that they're not cannibals. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, That's, uh, sure. Uh, I've heard a lot about cannibals on islands. I'll tell you when you're older. But I don't want to sign anyone up to a rewards program. Like You're already part of the rewards program. What? <laughs> you are on the boat. <laughs> we signed the terms. How do you think you earned this? And she reaches into like a bag and pulls out some gaudy like pencils that haven't been sharpened. You know, like the full oh, okay. pencil, but it's got like the patterning of the ship around it with a ship eraser on the top of it. Island. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take it. Stormy's happy. very excited. <laughs> Kindling. Oh, really? <laughs> Immediately starts coming. Um, I think you're focusing on the wrong thing. I think we need to. That's rest. irrelevant to the journey that you're about to undertake. 
Would you like a bed now that you've earned, uh, proved oh, your worth? Oh, thank God, yes, please. And a meal would be great. No worries. Well, the fishermen have fished up a treat, so feel free to eat some lovely dinner. There's a bit left over and have a nice rest. Oh. And perhaps in the morning, Joy will be ready to uh, heal your Pokemon as well. Hooray! Leo, look, Kabloom can do this now. And she'll get him to use Flash. <laughs> you, Flash you, 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 go to, you go to use Flash and it has no effect. <gasps> Kaboom, are you broken? Like, you just like just flicking the switch. It's like, like a little text flick. box comes up and says it has no effect. Oh. Huh. You can't use Flash out uh, in well-lit areas in Pokemon. That's cool. Well, it doesn't do anything when you do, so. And you don't blind people, I suppose. That's you good. just have to imagine a really bright light. And take my word for it. Bloom. (laughs) (laughs) Brain brain just like fries some electricity. Okay. You ready to bed? Yeah, let's go. Thank you very much. Uh, We will gladly retire. That's all right. I'll go to bed when I'm done working. (laughs) I don't think she'll ever be done working. I haven't seen her blink once. (laughs) We don't have days off in the cruise ship business. Six months on, six months off. And I'm on, I'm on. But you're not on a cruise ship anymore. We're always on a cruise <laughs> in our heart with the cruise family. Aww. And the rewards program. It's like it's like all the indoctrination, all the yeah. lines oh. are like frying into one mass of stress <laughs> and, and mental break. She's and you all definitely not cruising. <laughs> you all sleep, you eat, you refresh, you heal, you go to full health. Yay! <gasps> Yay. What about our, our Pokemon? You regain two spirit, your Pokemon have no changes. Okay. Nice. Our Pokemon haven't healed. They don't change at all. Okay. Just you. Okay. I need Ooh, the Pokemon uh, Center. Knack and Grit, sir. You get one of your choice back. Ooh. Okay. Now remember, you can voluntarily sleep the night. You don't have to push eight episodes out in one day, but yeah, now that you've got a town to come back to, so you can recoup by sleeping. Okay. If there's time pressing missions, which they currently aren't, aside from you're stuck on an island, so okay. yeah. Do we have to come back to the camp specifically? Yes, to, to, so, to regain yeah. all the yeah. points. Unless okay. you had a full set of like tents and camping gear, but you don't, so. Yeah. All right. You rest, so, you wake, rest. the morning comes, the sun shines, the uh, Picapex are chirping, a couple of toucanons hey. in the distance, uh, clapping beaks in romantic gestures. And the, yeah, the sun rises, everyone starts bustling in the camp. I'm hungry. I head towards where the fishermen have been. That didn't take long. And they (laughs) they, they look across at you. (laughs) Hey, uh, Uh, they're getting their reels and stuff ready for the morning. Ah, so uh, you heard the good news? Opened up a Pokemon Center of trees, a tree center, an orchard. Which did which um did you go to? A nursery. We opened a nursery. Did did you go to the older or the younger fishermen? Uh, (laughs) Ah, yes. Your choice. Uh, Let's go youngest because I'm. It's relatable and I'm trying to impress them. Okay. Well, uh, that is of course uh, some service to the camp. I've been hard at work ensuring food security. Great. Can I have some? (laughs) Well, you had some last night, didn't you? Did I? It's all a blur. And then you look down and his bucket is completely empty. There's no fish in there. <laughs> He's like, there are quite a lot of people uh, and where we have to ration our food. So uh, uh, you might have to. Not a lot of people risking their neck out there to uh, open up the secrets of this island, uh, which might I say is a very hunger inducing activity. So sorry, um, are you saying fishing isn't a high risk activity? <laughs> I mean, scientifically speaking, when you look at the data, uh, a lot more people perish uh, on Pokemon adventures than fishing. Alejandro! <laughs> and the other fisherman looks so far, looking kind of tired. He's like, this guy's never heard of a Gyarados! <laughs> Gar- Gar- I pull out my, my uh, Pokedex and I like type G A R. Like type can you, can, can you, you do that? I think you can. Only if you found it before. Uh, Only if you spell it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, nothing comes up. <laughs> You're a fool. Doesn't even exist. I'm really hungry. Can Plus, I please Gary's not even a Pokemon. I don't have any, he says, I don't have any food. Uh, okay. 
I look at the you other guy. Hope how hey. hungry is your character Brad. always? <laughs> it's his thing. Brad has a way with the youth. It's malnourished. Jelly filled donuts. I come, I come back to the group disappointedly. I'm like, oh, all right, let's go to the Pokemon Center. What's up right. with you? To be fair, I don't think they'd left to get, go fishing yet. <laughs> we're they were just setting up for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you arrive uh, the the sort of 20 meters it takes you to walk over to the shack that has been hastily put together and some mad engineering poultices, some mortars and pestle, but all like made up over the last three days by Nurse Joy, like rudimentary equipment that's been put together. There's crushed berries being pulped and squeezed and Chansey is walking back and forth and like clearly casting Pokemon uh, spells to, to sort of affect things. That's so cool. And Nurse Joy looks over and he's like, ah, you're the ones who've been out adventuring. You made this possible. So how would you like to be the first to be treated at my Pokemon Center? Yes. Oh, oh thank that'd you. be great. Thank you. Now, uh, it's a little bit different to the Pokemon Centers you might be used to. You see, we don't have, well, much technology here. So we're going to need to treat them the old fashioned way, uh, which means if you line up one by one and get your Pokemon out, we can treat them. Can you treat multiple at the same time or just one? I'll be able to get through them all in short order. The special elixir Chansey and I have worked up will be very quick working, but uh, one at a time in a single order. Okay. Who'd like to go first? I'll go first because technically there is an order. (laughs) Yeah. I hand hand over Iggy and Foamy. And we're going to take this opportunity to remind our viewers and kind of like recap our Pokemon. Okay. So we have Iggy, who is your Ignisilk. Yep. I'm going to actually take the opportunity to uh, show. To uh. (laughs) uh, We have Ignisilk. Who is a fire, uh, a fire spider Pokemon. Yep, uh, one of our custom starters, and that was Brad's uh, childhood companion. And my first ever new Pokemon I caught on this island, Foamy. Well, th- that's my nickname for him. Fulmandis. He's yeah. pretty cool. Very good. And then we're going to go with uh, Brad or Stormy. I am was Brad. Brad. Just, uh, I keep calling you Brad. I don't know. It's stuck in my brain. How dare you? <laughs> You're just such right. a Brad. So next up, we have uh, Stormy's. Yep. Stormy has Kabloom, uh, who was given to her by her dad, her professor dad. And <laughs> 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 professor dad. Yes. That's a cute name you, for her dad, actually. <laughs> That's actually cute. And uh, he's an electric teddy bear. Cool. Um, and then we have Pick-a-Peck, who Stormy named Pecky. Has Pika Peck been involved in a single no. battle? Okay. I've only done two battles, I think. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, you, no, did, oh, you oh, got no, flounced do, in one, I right? You have crushed battle. so many I did do double battle. Caterpies. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just two been a Caterpie story. Caterpie. Right. Caterpie Crusher. Yeah. 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 All right. Just not a I accept right that title. Uh, hey, Victor. Victor. don't sit also, down. Victor, the collection grows. As this process happens, you uh, all your Pokemon are fully healed, spirit and health. Beautiful. We have Nutbush, my starter Pokemon and uh, sort of childhood friend, as we have all had. Uh, then we have Big Hiss, the Ekans, who has been a valiant uh, member of my team and a good hugger. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Cookie, the Kabuto, the newest member of the gang and the wielder of the ferocious cut. <laughs> and then we, of course, have... Uh, can you hold one back though, Jen? That one, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So um, Melanie arrives to Nurse Joy, and the first Pokeball she happens to reach for on her belt is uh, is Applin. Uh, I am unoriginal and do not name my Pokemon because I think their names are perfect. <laughs> so we have little Applin, who's a tiny little apple, <laughs> and then we have Paris, who's a tiny crab. Yeah. yeah. So as Melanie with the last Pokemon, reaches for her Pokeball, holding her Pokemon, which is, of Blood course, Blotterleap. I start up. Um, what do you do? Do you, you, you know, you got your Pokeball, you got to send it out. I try to, to call her out. Which involves you saying what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on out, Blotterleap. The Pokeball shakes in your please. hand. Can I get you to make... Pretty please. <laughs> Can I get you to make an empathy charisma check? Oof. Challenge level two. Wow. 
Yeah, do you want some? Pretty pleased with a cherry on top. I don't know why I decided that was easier. <laughs> uh, em- empathy, sorry, charisma. Empathy, yeah. charisma. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh three three successes. Ooh. There's a little shake again of the ball. <gasps> My egg. Don't worry about the egg. <laughs> you don't ruin one moment for a, a joke. I like how all the excitement just yeah, suddenly got it, funneled to that. It's just <laughs> <straight> <laughs> Real big moment for Lolly, but you're just like another thing that I care about over here. Yeah, the egg is fine. Okay. <laughs> so the Pokeball cracks open and the beam of light goes out to the ground and manifests. Oh yay! And then, <gasps> what? A different looking Pokemon stands before you to the last one you saw. What is it? What happened? I go like poke it. It's having well, a use your Pokedex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the scientist is like, I must poke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So I've just gotten so used to the hands-on experience that I pull out the Pokedex. So they got Pokemon. You poke them. Out in the wild, you just poke them. <laughs> I use that. Uh, po- po- in my defense. Pokedex, not poke Pokedex. In the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Pokedex. Yeah. So you open your Pokedex? I open my Pokedex. <coughs> not a lie. The Sweet Dreams Pokemon. After eating enough and gaining enough mass to grow to its next stage, Ladalai sleeps 16 hours a day. What? If you pop the bubbles that blow from its nose, you will levitate briefly. <laughs> what? Yeah, one, two, three. Aww. Are, there, are there bubbles currently? Yeah, there's bubbles as there it bubbles snores. Noise. Like a bubble would like come out and then bloop and then just float. And it, they kind of stick around it and... You really want to poke stuff. Uh, I mean, if, if, if <laughs> but you... But the, the Pokedex said to. If, if you want to experience it, you're more than welcome to. Poke, and I poke a bubble. Okay, you pop a bubble, and for a brief second, you feel weightless, literally for about one second, as you oh. lift maybe an inch off the ground and then just hit the ground again. Whoa. You flew. That's what you it's can fly. like. <laughs> Amazing. I want to try, I want to try. Um, <laughs> I'm going to poke as well. So exactly the same thing happens. You float for about a second and then just back to the ground. See if, you can, see if you can, like, time them and, like, just keep it going for a f- few seconds. Like, huh? oh, all right. Sure, so, so we keep them just You've done it once. Let, let's, have, let's let the, the, the brand new Pokemon have a little bit of space. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, be time right. Your Pokemon. Has levitation boogers. It also sleeps for 16 hours. <laughs> wow. <sighs> and it rolls cute, over and right? scratches its belly. Uh. And then, um, like, Nurse Joy pours the elixir down its mouth and it's like. <laughs> and just laying on its back. And it's like patting its tummy with its like padded frog looking so feet, wagging its little tail back and forth. I wonder what new things it can do. It's still massive, Sleep. right? No. Yeah. <laughs> What? It's pretty cool. It's still massive. Uh, it's it's grown into itself a lot okay, more. Good. So like it 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 seemed like a lot of leap had been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And as the Pokedex entry just said, like they mm-hmm. eat a lot to put on a lot of mass. To then, unlike most you know, well, Pokemon are weird creatures, but it seems to be sort of a transformative state between what it was before. Mm-hmm. And Lotolai is no longer water type exclusively. Lotolai is now a water fairy type Pokemon. Yay. Exciting. Uh, it has an ability. It has a combat power of the first of January. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? What? <laughs> it's an error in the card, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, so it's clearly been date formatted, not number <laughs> formatted. So it was, it's one slash one. One slash one, okay. So you might want to change oh. it to one slash one. First of January. <laughs> That's one. That's it's fine. perfect just the way it Podcast is. Podcast listeners, it does say Why first of Why is it format to that? I don't know. Probably but you will, notice, you will notice, you will notice that this Pokemon is is a little bit stronger than the rest of your Pokemon. It's got six combat rolls, 11 health. Uh, Bubble Beam, Yawn, and Rest are its abilities. Nice. Cool. I can yawn Ooh, and three rest. Three spirit. Not that special. <laughs> 
No, but that's pretty Restore cool. this Pokemon to maximum HP for three spirit. And remove all other conditions. That's awesome. But then it goes to sleep. That's how rest works, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Mm. <laughs> Our first ever three spirit Pokemon ability. Hey, so there you go. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome Lodolai to the party. That's so fun. Actually, Stormy, those, mm -hmm. uh, those pink bubbles that's sort of popping out, do they look <gasps> familiar? Um, can Were I these roll? Yeah, yeah. Different pink Make bubbles. a... Uh, I mean, they are bubbles and they are pink. Make an intuition intelligence check. <laughs> good. I know you're not going to be good at it. You're a child. <laughs> challenge, uh, three. challenge level three. Oh, why would you do that to me? Because it's really tough. <laughs> oh, it's so uh, close. With two successes, you can confirm that they were both pink bubbles, but these mm. pink bubbles are smaller than the other pink bubbles. Um, these are the small pink bubbles, but... I don't think I've seen other pink bubbles, so maybe. See. Oh. Does that mean you believe me about the pink bubbles? But I, I thought never I was said dreaming. that I doubted you. What pink bubbles? <laughs> See. You don't remember the pink bubble? I have no idea what you mean. The boogers that made no it the, float? the pink bubble that. Uh, Stormy when insists. Oh, like way back at the start <gasps> when you were delusional because we just <laughs> way back yesterday. <laughs> Was it yesterday? It's been a long day. Just a child delusional. At this, oh at this she looks time, like she's about to cry. Oh no, <laughs> Lodolai, you once again pads over to Melanie, reaches up and like taps the the pokeball circle on the side oh. of Melanie's belt and just goes <laughs> and gets sucked back into the pokeball. Bye. Well, Lisa knows what it wants. So uh, that's great. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wants to sleep 16 hours a day. Wow. Well, he well. doesn't live in health? Yeah, dude. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it also, sta as standard, has Bubble Beam for free and it Ooh. has plus one attack at close and range, so it's got a four power attack. It's going to be my time. new favorite Pokemon. Ooh, All right. It's your strongest okay. Pokemon. You it's the strongest favorite? Pokemon in the whole party. Heck yeah. Who was your previous favorite? All of them? Yeah. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> yes. Yeah, speaking of, do you want to before we. Andre Mag. It's just one word at this point. Andre Mag. Hey, you know, hey, Jack. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, what the? Ah. You need a minimum of two successes to successfully egg. <laughs> you have egged my four successes. Your egg's so hard. The Pokemon egg, the Pokemon egg is as hard as granite, yet it exudes the comforting warmth of life from within. It hmm. wobbles occasionally. Oh, oh. we will have another new Pokemon soon. <laughs> They're so exciting. I give it a hug. Cool. It's very heavy. <laughs> is it getting heavier or is it just the it's same? It's now the same heaviness. Yeah. Okay, that's but good. But it's very hard. It's like literally holding a, a, a warm rock. Huh. <laughs> Cool. All right, what are we doing, everyone? Your Pokemon are healed. You're healed. We're all feeling refreshed. I think it's time to uh, head back through the cave and see if we can take on, uh, well. Team Ironclad. At least get past them and connect our two fledgling civilizations. Yeah, sounds so good, Eddie. All okay. right, let's go. Who's leading? Still it's, me. It's still Brown. It's all right. I clearly know the safest question. routes and the most direct paths. It's all based on the data. Full health and full science. Spirit. spirit. Yeah, that's PP. Pee -pee. Spirit the, is PP. Oh, so, yeah. right here. Hey, <laughs> PP. All right. Uh, I think I'm up to five dice. You the, are. Yeah. And there are three. Shortest route has you going through three. All right. Here's the first one. West success. Oh my All right. Wow. Six dice. Okay. Goodness. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, we're just avoiding critical fails. Critical. Oh, yeah. Brad's yep. avoiding yep. critical fails. Next one. Whoa! Okay. Still? One more dice for the final walkthrough. Okay. On route three. Can you avoid the Caterpie? Oh, oh, no. no. Hey, All right, you know. Pokemon <laughs> battle! <laughs> Woo! We have a Come random on, Pokemon. It's all right. I'll make sure work of whoever we come across. Can change this way. And yes. Now you have <laughs> Pokeballs. Do 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 do. Oh my god, I wasn't even kidding. Brad's like a Caterpie. <laughs> a, a, cat, a freaking Caterpie in front of you. 
All right, Ignis. Look, you know what to do. Crush him! I fought these before. <laughs> I fought two. You have. Mm. You can do it, Brad. So, Ignis Silk, who are you sending out? Yeah. Go. Cool. Ignis Silk, I choose you. <laughs> Says the Caterpie. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> very angry. Caterpie waddles closer to you and uses string shot. Okay. Are we doing thingies or we just... Nah. Let's go. This will be done in one second. <laughs> Three successes. Four. Okay. Oh, sorry. I should have said Ember. Ember? Yep. Okay. I believe Caterpie. You've, who's got a Caterpie? No one? <laughs> uh, two Please. successes. You hit and the Caterpie faints. Has three health. So yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah you so gain one experience. Two damage, fire type, yeah. and it's gone. Two damage. Yeah, bugs weak to fire, so it's yep. three damage. Yeah. Uh, it has no defense. And how, how much XP? Oh, that's so one. One. And that means I've got three, and is a, a tier three, which means he levels up to tier four. Yeah. yeah. So he needs to do it again to get to tier five. Yeah. To evolve. Oh, to tier four. You need to get to tier five to evolve. No, no, I'm just leveling up. I know, I was just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jen was we looking at me with funny. eyes of panic not, because Ignis no, no. evolution hasn't been done. <laughs> not everyone's as cool as Lolly. Not everyone's been bashing Lotta up lie. and decking by fights and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lotta Lie now. Yeah. Lotta Lie all the way. Sounds like a song. Stormy's going to come up behind Lotta 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 Lotta. Lotta. Yeah, so and who's up next? You. Okay. Can I go? Yeah, all right. Yes! Yeah, I'm just like massaging Ignis Silk after his like epic... He's like, you're feeling a little more muscular, dude. Well done. Okay. Can I Team, have a white pill? Let's keep going. So um, you remember what you can upgrade, right? I don't remember. Uh, either you can add one body or mind, which will give you either two health or two spirit. Yep. Uh, or you can add one to your attack or your defense, but you can't exceed two in any of those bonuses. So. Okay, cool. I'm going to give him a defense. Okay. Cool. So to evolve to... Um, like level five. Do we need five XP or four XP? Five. 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 If you're, so five tier, if you're five. tier four, no, no. If you're tier four, yeah. And you leveling the Pokemon to tier five, you just yeah. need four. I XP. just need four. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. So how many have you got? Three. Okay, hmm. you're leading. I bet you want to get in a battle. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. She's always looking out. She's like, oh, fight me. Well, <laughs> well, that was the third route. So you pop into Caverna Escura and you head into Kaboom, the caves. Use flash. And with a flash, the cave lights up. And there are three checks to make, although there were some areas in Caverna Escura that you hadn't explored if you wanted Ooh. to. Yeah, there's the bit to the left, opposite the and there was way the bit out if you up that in the, the, in the very entrance. Yes, that's right. We, we Ooh, failed to use ladder. I mean, <laughs> ladder formation of rock. Hmm. <laughs> was that Brad? No, what? it was me. <laughs> yeah. It was too heavy. So you could, it's the egg. You could go the for egg. it. You're a pretty egg. happy young little thing. Yeah, can I climb up high? I want to see if I can see anything. Well, first of all, you have to enter the, the entrance chamber, which is a random Pokemon encounter Ooh. dice. Just one? Yep. Yep. Full knock. Nice. Safe. Safe. All right, to climb up these rocks is with your small and lithe body. It is a <laughs> combined check. So you're going to need to roll fitness with reflexes. Okie dokie. Combining a little bit of that general strength all round uh, and your ability to power through a longer endurance challenge. Challenge level. Uh, challenge level was two. Three, Three successes. And Stormy clambers up the ledge and for the first time you get to see what's up there. What's up there, Stormy? Uh, rocks and... <gasps> an and item. It looks like an item. What's She's gonna inside? Go up to it. Aha. Open it. <laughs> I just found out myself. <laughs> <laughs> and inside, uh, there's actually, that's a representative. There's actually a um, a little crack in the rocks, and it seems like this is on the coastal, like this is almost exterior. Not big enough to crawl through, but big enough that um, light comes through and roots of a plant have sort of come through the cavern wall and there's fruiting elements almost the way blackberries push through and grow everywhere there's some fruiting elements and you see a big ripe citrus berry on the end of this plant i can see a light at the end of the tunnel i should go towards it right no <laughs> don't go towards the light stormy but there's a berry at the light 
There's a berry right in front of you. You don't need to climb anywhere to get oh, a berry. Never mind, I found a berry here. All right, so you get a citrus berry. Uh, to your left, you see a rock that would need rock smash or brick break, as I keep mistaking it. Rock smash is what you actually need to I get past. And you actually now realize, now that someone's been up here, mm. uh, that this is a shortcut if you have Rock Smash Ooh. all the way to the end of the cavern. Huh. So it just, that, that those two up sections you hadn't explored mm -hmm. just connect through as a little shortcut. Handy. And yes. so you can only go back down because you don't know Rock Smash and that will trigger, the whole process will trigger another roll. Oh. Ooh. Two dice. Ah! Oh! All right, random encounter. Uh, what have we got in Caverna Oscura? A dance party, yeah. <laughs> there. Uh, this time we can have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Someone, you can, you can change. The, we have the that. appropriate setting for this one. Oh yeah, yeah. So who are you yeah. sending out? Kabloom. As with a sonic oh. shriek, a Zubat flies into the room and comes Ring. attacking you. All right, Zubat is four steppy steps away. And he's going to move Zubat. one closer. Yes, and you are here. So it will be moving closer. What will you be doing? I will stay. Will I stay? No, I'll move closer. I'll move one step closer. Zubat is going to use a supersonic. Some Kabloom. Use Thundershock. Ooh. Four. Four successes. Uh, one success. <laughs> so you hit. How much damage do you do? I do. Mm, so it's plus two, plus mm -hmm. the one yep. distance. Three. Three lightning. Yeah. You were tier three, yes. Who? Uh, Iggy. Bra Iggy was Iggy tier three. Was, now it's tier four, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so you do three damage. Yeah. Becomes four because Zubat's flying. Zubat yeah. faints oh, as a, as a thunder know. shock immediately hits Zubat. That is too strong. And Zubat faints in one hit. <laughs> wow. Nice. Are we going to try and Next catch time, it? buddy. Well, Bye. Just stole me. XP. And you do not gain any experience. <gasps> oh, what? So this Why? hasn't Sorry, been this has not been relevant yet. This is the first time. So when battling Pokemon, remember how sometimes you fought and you got more you got double experience mm -hmm. fighting some powerful ones? Yeah. If you're if the Pokemon you're battling is too far tier below you, you don't gain experience. Okay. So uh -huh. if it's so more than two, four, Zubat is tier one. So if you're more than two tiers above, you don't gain experience. Okay. Unless it's a trainer battle, then you gain one. Cool. Um so you pop the Zubat. It's okay, Quibloom. You were just too strong. <laughs> we'll get him next time, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess All someone right. else can lead. <laughs> oh, Al's just like, God damn it. Anything <laughs> but the Zubat. Waited a whole episode to lead. <laughs> Anything but the Zubat. Oh, Melanie. You got what you wanted to stall me. <laughs> a fight. <laughs> or actually, no, you didn't go what you Don't wanted. Don't worry, there's a double battle coming soon. Maybe someone okay. will include you. Who battled the last was, double battle? It was. It was. Oh, okay. It was we'll we'll see. Yeah, maybe we'll not. See. All right. It was the range duo. Go yes. for it. I think Brad. I think Victor. Yeah, it's it's Melanie. 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 Oh, it? oh, yeah. I always yeah. never know when it's my turn. Cool. Okay. Journey on, Melanie. Yeah. Uh, journeying through the cavern, there sure is am. a roll to make. Random encounter. <laughs> Oh, oh sorry. I've got all the dice. Yeah, have, have dice. Uh, uh, nope. No. And then, <coughs> as you arrive at a junction here, you can head deeper into that area you never explored before, the one other path you haven't gone down, or where the Kabuto was caught, or you can head out. Uh, we've only got like 15 minutes left in this episode. It's so fine. I want to keep going out. But that might... You do whatever you want yeah, to do. You're in charge. Okay, roll yeah, a random we'll, encounter. We'll go past this cave plenty of times. I'm not too stressed. All good. All right. And you exit out onto the wonderful uh, Route 1. Woo! Welcome. All right. Yay! Let's default to mostly being yeah, okay. the nice and easy generic thing, which is Route 1 there. Yeah. Which is... Whoa. You, you guys have this all on your thing, by the way. Like all, all of you. 
Can or you, you have do root ones and characters? <laughs> like, so you should have in environments uh, root one shipwreck camp dark cave. What controls the background one? Like the, the background one. The background button. No, the background the, folder. I know for like the inset picture, but behind us. Sam. Uh, that one. Huh? That one. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Yeah. But you're... I don't have root one. You should have... Yeah, Murray's missing folders. <laughs> nice. That's weird because everyone everyone folders. should have root. Have you got it? I do have root one. That's weird. Murray's isn't getting updated then. I'm special. <laughs> Just stick with characters. That's all right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> He's probably got half as many characters as a meant to be there too. Uh, okay, welcome to the root. Yay, pity. We can, there's grass directly in front of you. The only way forward. Okay, Six, you push four. on out. And for the first time, you reach the beach. And Ooh. looking ahead of you, there is a rather wide ocean river. And on the other side, far to the north, uh, there is sort of the second larger part. This is an island connected by uh, a, a rocky archipelago but very narrow and close so it looks almost like eroded cliff that now this river of seawater is slowly over thousands of years eroding and separating the two islands um but to your left you can see these high uh cliffside mountains with a rickety homemade wooden bridge across several parts of them uh and to your right you can see a path that follows this uh oceanic beach all the way along. And then in the distance, you can see where it rises up and curls back on itself. And you can see where maybe you would connect to that root, uh, route two that you had previously been on where you met Creed and his kids and the ride on. But for now, you could head west or east. East is heading that way. West is heading towards the supposed team ironclad on the bridge. That way. That way. Yes. All right. There's can a couple of- Can you use an ability? You can. Can I use my binoculars ability? You may. Because it's a root? Yes. Oh, yeah. I just couldn't remember if you'd used it already, but I think it was the cave and then it I was a, a womp yeah, womp. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Well, it's a new day anyway. Do they reset on it? Womp womp. No, it's one. Your thing is you can only do it on the root once. once. on the root. Yeah. Okay, no, I haven't done on root one. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Trainer skill. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Holy moly. Yes, Very good. That's, that's going to give you basically everything. I'm sorry for the spoilers. If you don't know <laughs> which Pokemon are on this track, okay. tune out right now. Well, you don't get all of them, <laughs> but you do get almost all of them. Stormy the AWAC. So you... Stormy's looking for a next target. You scan <laughs> left and right, spending a few minutes while the others are getting their bearings and honestly enjoying like this. Lift you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a periscope. Aya, aya. It's, it's a rather peaceful area. Uh, it's nice. It's beautiful. It's like... Tropical oasis, desert island sort of vibe, but it's a gorgeous and tranquil place. Uh, as you look around, you spot a fair few Pokemon in various environments. You see a yellow duck running along, clutching its head and like waddling to and fro. You see out of the water occasionally this like shuriken disc as this orange starfish like jumps out of the water spins around and then floats to another area and then drops back into the water you see brad's nemesis as all over the beach in this long grass and moving around you see these little blue and pink slugs shallows going <laughs> <laughs> as they're going to and fro. <laughs> you see pick peck in trees pecking away. And you see Wingull flying in mm. from the coast, the seagull of the Pokemon world, landing. And you only have failed to note one Pokemon on this route. I see a Psyduck. Also, uh, we should go to the beach for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> what? Why? It's not, there's no time to get a sun tan. <laughs> she just turns, looks at you. No reason. <laughs> <laughs> Look, maybe after we go to town. Okay, maybe later. Maybe. Uh, look, let's find this Pokemon Center and maybe we can get supplies. Okay. We're short of Pokeballs anyway. That's very How true. How many Pokeballs do we have? I have one and Victor has one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So getting into battle right now with wild Pokemon isn't going to do you any good. Unless we're feeling very sharing, which I'm not going to promise. I gave you a berry. That's true. Mm-hmm. 
but and now encouragement in every fight. Listen, <laughs> that is also true. But l- let's go to town, and okay. I'll pay you back. Okay. Uh, Melanie. I yeah. Believe. We'll keep heading through. Mm. I, I, what does my map show me? What does your map show you? Yeah. I told you, you can head west. You don't have a map. You can head west oh, yeah. along the beach. Uh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you'd like to. Towards where I am. Towards the, the, tre- the big yes. cliffs and the trees that I described. and the With and the ironclad? And, yes. And, and the bridges that head across Ironclad, the archipelago. Yes. You don't. You, I can't see anyone by the name of Team Ironclad. Beach, beach, Do you head beach. west along the beach? You have to head along the beach. You beach, kind of beach. the grass heads down. <laughs> there's some trees and there's some like detritus. You know how very very tight, uh, very heavily wooded like beach shrub that you can't yeah, really yeah. push through. Mm-hmm. That kind of just forces you down onto the beach and then you can walk up the beach. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, you walk up the beach for a while until the hey, sharp beach, ro- beach, rocky, beach, beach. <laughs> sharp rocky cliffs. This, uh, ascend in front of you and then you can wind up a little um, little grassy and uh, and sandy path along the edge of this as you can sort of wind around this mountain and you assume wind up and into these uh, bridge area whatever you call it, the archipelago of rocks it's kind of a little bit like the 12 apostles uh, like these jarring bits of eroded rock with wood bridges between them that might need context for people who don't know that. Google it and embrace your <laughs> learning. Google the 12, the 12 apostles. apostles, Australia, Great Ocean Road. Okay, that's there a little go. more specific. It's a, it's a you series need the, of, yeah. the later things in that yeah. <laughs> description. Tell me about <laughs> Just the Google Bible. the 12 Google apostles. Bible. Uh, okay, so you walk through a patch of grass as you ascend. And yes, fine, here you go. Sorry, podcast viewers. <laughs> why, why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Uh, I don't know. I think that something opened up on the side. Is it like the crop? Did you button? Button? I think you might have cropped it on purpose. You, you, you did I've opened something, something on the yeah. side. Yeah. yeah. That was all. How many dice was that? It feels up to five. That makes sense. Is five? I put them all back? Surely five. not. Really? You hadn't done that much yet. Three. Yeah. yeah. Up to you, three? You've passed two. Yeah, you have got three. Fantastic. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> oh. Hey! hey. Pokemon Counter. <laughs> We have a. I'm going to pause the recording. On this end, yes. Yep. All right. All right. So as you ascend around this cliff face into the long grass, start pushing onwards, you see the grass wavering and moving near some trees, and you hear a. <laughs> and this little round porcine stinky pig <laughs> bursts out <laughs> as a lechonk enters the battle. Lechonk. The one Pokemon. That Al didn't spot, <laughs> that Stormy didn't see, because it was up the hill. Well, that was lucky. How did I miss that one? Um, it was Trufflin. <laughs> Snufflin for Trufflins. I would like to use my ID genus to uh, tell me, on a success, uh, the type and status and target Pokemon and their catch rate as well. Okay, the type and status. Do to, do, do you want me to stats. You always say status. Stats. You say status every time. Oh my god, and it confuses me every time. Yeah, Jen. Do you want me to roll for it? No, you don't have to roll for it. Oh, so okay. uh, it's stats. Uh, it has a combat roll of five. It has no benefits to um, defense or to attack. Seven health, just five dice. Uh, and it is normal type. Is that all it gives you? Catch rate? Uh, tier. Does it give a tier? Yeah. Tier right. two. Catch okay. rate is, uh, catch rate is one. Oh, sick. Great. Uh, I'm going to send... Do you want a LeChonk? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. I should Poor be there. LeChonk's pretty cute, but I do not want one. Um, plus I don't have a Pokeball. I'm going to send out... Does Bacon that exist spirit, in the Pokemon it? universe? That you spent spirit yeah, to do that. Yeah, I did spend spirit. Yeah, this is how you get it. <laughs> Okay. I feel like there are definitely episodes where someone must have been cooking bacon. I can't the... send Applin. Anyway. Just always okay. thinking about food. Send out Applin. Although <laughs> <laughs> Applin may not exist. I don't know where Applin is. Yeah, Applin. yeah, Applin exists. Given yeah. I choose you, Applin, and get it out there. I give you Applin. Oh, so cute. Not that far, yep. So tiny. So small. All right. Let's do it. So first round, uh, LeChonk is going to move towards you. I'm also uh, going to move. Okay. Uh, and Lechonk is going to use Tail Whip. Are you going to use a move? I'm going to use Withdraw. Okay. Yep. Lechonk uh, gets two successes. Uh, 
I also get two successes. All right. They are both defense abilities. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Then, what's yours do? Uh, so they both succeed. I defend. Yeah, I and roll, what's the text? I roll a dice on a success. I get plus one armor to the end of combat. Cool. So you get plus one armor to the end of combat. Well, I have roll a dice on a success, break one. So you lose an armor until the end of combat. <laughs> so is that, well, that was a defense kill. Your defense went up. Tail whip, your defense went down. Amazing. <laughs> All right, next round, Lechonk is going to take another step closer to As you. As is Applin. Uh, but now Brilliant. Lechonk is going to use tail whip. Are we in close? Yeah, yep. you're touching. Great. I will use Astonish. <laughs> Okie dokie. For a thing. One success. Full of chunk. My dice have been permanently cursed by uh, <laughs> L and Murray. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> nice. Oh, four, four successes. All right. What's Astonish do? Uh, so Astonish is uh, so it's plus two damage. What type is Astonish of a move? It's a ghost. It has no effect. Ooh. You've just learned something. He's normal type, isn't he? Yep. Mm-hmm. Ghost type moves do nothing to do. They literally don't work. To normal type. Yep. Mm-hmm. They, really? They, 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 they say it's, it has no effect. Who? It does nothing. Okay, well. Cool. Astonish does nothing. Can hmm. it still stun it? No, it does nothing. Does nothing. Uh, mm-hmm. But. Does oh, nothing. Okay. All right. <laughs> the move has no effect. Define does nothing. <laughs> no, 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 nothing. Flavor text underneath that, it. It, so does that, that it does nothing. It doesn't do anything. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. What's on the list of things it does? Yeah. Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> See the list of things it should do? Yeah. None of them do anything. Okay. Because it All does right. nothing. The nothingness was super effective. <laughs> All those effects that are listed on it have no effect. <laughs> Next turn. <laughs> okay. Do you have any moves that aren't ghost type? No. So swap your Pokemon <laughs> and you do. still... Okay, cool. So you have to declare that you're going to switch. Yes, I saw it. Does it cost spirit? Or is it that you're no, free action? No, but you have just your, my yeah, free attack. Okay, used, I'm gonna yeah. use Tail Whip again. Cool. I swap my Pokemon. One more Tail Whip. All right. So you throw out your Pokemon and you only get a defense roll. I got one success out of five <laughs> dice again. I am definitely cursed. Who are you swapping uh, to? So I say Eplin come back. Yep. Uh, and I send out Paris. Okay. Paris jumps in, and Paris. Do you uh, need a roll? Nope. No. no. But Paris now just hit. gets a defensive okay, roll. Oh, gotcha. Is it a defensive roll with negative something, or is it? It should say on the card. No? Oh, yeah. Cool. Does Paris appear close? Roll for zero. Replaces oh, the Pokemon okay. exactly. Yeah. One success. All right, well, mine was a defensive ability, and so was yours, so they both succeed. So Tail Whip has break one, so you lose one defense if you have it from Paris for the rest of the combat. Also, zero. just to be short, this doesn't count as, like, a defense defense. This is just... They, but they, it does count as a defense defense, but they are both defended moves, so they have okay. the same priority. Okay, cool. So they, I, I just made that up on the fly earlier, <laughs> but I'm like, if two like status moves get used and they both are tied, it, the, the tie rules just apply. Yeah, no, that makes uh, sense. Okay, so next round it's going to use tackle. Uh, and Paris can use scratch. Cool. Three Come on, successes. Oof. You got this. You oh no, hey. you don't got this. Hey, you don't uh, tell her that. What? Are you watching what Paris is doing? Lechonk. Embarrassing. Lechonk's eyes <laughs> bulge. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Lechonk's eyes bulge out as it sees the mushrooms on Paris's back and it goes <laughs> and like dives in, smelling truffle <laughs> because Paris has <laughs> mushrooms on its back, yeah. and it comes in and does tackle and that's two damage. Truffle, what did you I say? Have no. Truffle, Truffle snuffling. snuffling. Truffle snuffling. I like yeah. to imagine that Lechonk's just like pinned him down and is just like. <laughs> He's trying to identify like, the mushrooms. Yeah. Just like right in there, in, in those mushrooms. That was uh, a. All right, next notes combat. The yeah. podcast. You're welcome. <laughs> Le, Le, oh, they know. <laughs> Lechonk is going to bust its last spirit to use headbutt. Oof. Okay, Paris will use scratch again. You got this. I got three successes. Three successes? I only got... Match. No, I also got three. Match. You got three. So they both hit each other. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm going to re-roll that. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll that. Oh. But I'm going to keep... Oh, good find. Okay. What? Uh, Paris has an effect. Effect that, score? That, yeah. 
Cool. I forgot about it. Well, it will come into effect now. It will. Because you've been hit by so. ability. Uh, but it happens afterwards. Yes. So I got three successes. I used Headbutt. Headbutt does four damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Headbutt also has, if you hit for each critical success result, it has stun one. So I got two critical success oh. results. So oh. stun two. Blimey. Ouch. Uh, if I get knocked out, does my attack still happen? Does it not work? Uh, it was simultaneous, yeah. so it will go off. Okay. Are you down? Do you only have six health? Yeah, you can okay. use a grit to reduce yes. injury. I will do that, actually. Do you have grit? I do have cool. grit. So you're going to stay on one? Then you can keep the XP. You get XP on all of them if you swap. Ooh. Mm. True. Good strategy. Uh, well, so... you split the XP. Oh, do you? Uh, okay. Uh, damage to Lechonk. Was how much? My Two? thing? Yep. Uh, three. Three, okay. Lechonk takes the, the... Did you did you hear Lechonk with anything? No. Lechonk takes the first bit of damage. Tonk. Yep. Lechonk takes the tonk. And then... Roll a dice on a critical success of that Pokemon. Okay. This is because I hit you, right? Yeah, which didn't. Okay. Good. All right. Next turn. Swap Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Lechonk is going to use Tackle. <laughs> Four successes. Okay. Uh, I say Paris come back. Yep. And I send out a lot of lie. A lot of lie. Uh, There's a snoring sound as a lot of lie lands. I wish I rubs its eyes working. and stands up Boom. for Pokemon battle. Oh, sorry. It's a, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I defend, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Defense oh, right. Oh, God, bye. Wait, Three. Bye. Hold on. Oh no, yep. I got yep. four successes. Uh, so it's two damage to Lodolai, but Lodolai has defense, right? Correct. How much defense does Lodolai have? One. Okay. How much, sorry, health? Two damage. Thanks. So you take one. Ba, 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 ba. There yeah. we go. I want to show you Lodolai. Oh, More Lodolai. So glad we got that uh, hooked up. Where is it in our thing? It's in. Oh, you it's are the only one who should have access to it. It's oh, underneath a lot of leap. No, it's in the character. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I copied it all across. I don't know what's happened because Murray doesn't have the updates That's either. Weird. All right, I'm in charge of lot of lie. Uh, Okie dokie. So next round. Bowling. Tackle. <laughs> Three successes for oh me. Oh my god. A four. Oh, oh, you hit. How much damage? Uh, for damage. And in a blast of frustrated bubbles by being smacked after its nap, Lotta Leap <laughs> just blows out a torrent of bubbles and Lechonk is sort of like blast rolled down the hill, fainted, <laughs> and uh, there's a faint splash as it lands in the water at the bottom of the hill. And you win. You defeat it. Lechonk Yay. is defeated. Uh, you well gain done, Lotta Leap. one experience to be distributed, as you will. So I can give it to either... Yeah. Lodolai is so powerful. Who are you giving it to? You can't give it to Lodolai. Applin. Because of the oh. tier. But you can give it That's to Applin fine. or Paris. I want to give it to Applin. <laughs> Very good. They both have XP. Smashed it. <sighs> I'm kind of done with Pokemon battles for a while. <laughs> Someone else take over, please. All right. No worries. You did well, Melanie. Thanks. <gasps> it's It's... It's nothing. No one saw anything. That's terrifying. What are you talking what about? The, what, <laughs> what the hell? Is that Mothman? Is that like an SPC Pokemon? Like what? Yeah, baked beans was and spaghetti. That, I thought that was the Iron Giant. It was. <laughs> it was. It was something. It, it was definitely what's, something. What's I, happening? What's happening is I, I hate these buttons. I don't understand them. My it. brain doesn't understand the way the buttons are formatted. All right, in front of you, who's taking the lead? It's me. Now. In front of you is a cut, which I'm assuming Kabuto is going to deal with. Yep. Kabuto, use cut. Tell us, Dave. What, <laughs> use cookie cutter. How Kabuto uses cut. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Chaz has three seconds to lag. <laughs> Chaz is on a bigger delay than chat now. <laughs> it's, it's truly embarrassing. <laughs> truly embarrassing. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyway, as you were. So Kabuto comes out of its Pokeball and it scuttles along the ground. And even in this distant, far place, human trash has found its way to this this island. And it, it goes over and it, it there's a bottle lying on the ground and it peels the side off the bottle. There's like a label that it peels off the bottle. And then it waddles up 
to the pseudo weirdo's foot and with its claws holds the label <laughs> vertically between its its tree toes and then goes <laughs> and there's just this like Ooh. <laughs> well, and then it just hobbles off to the left oh, with a paper yeah. cut in between its That's toes. Impressive. We all know that paper beats rock. Wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, your cookie really hits all the vulnerable spots. <laughs> oh, it's really hard to do a paper cut on purpose. That's impressive. Especially yeah. to a rock. <laughs> uh, rock Pokemon. So you then press on through and there is something laying on the ground. Cool. <laughs> Let's go have that. <laughs> you find on the ground this Pokeball sized lump of wood, but it also kind of looks like an acorn. It's like a stem sticking out of it. But it's like perfectly spherical like a Pokeball. Um, can I get you to make a intelligence? I'm gonna say intelligence uh engineering check. Alright. I just have to move all the Pokemon off the sheet. <laughs> Pokemon hoarding. Oh no. One success. Ew. You uh you recognize that this is weirdly shaped like a perfect sphere, but that is all. Ah, almost like it was crafted that way. Just as I expected. And you have... I an don't know what it is. Apricorn. <laughs> so as far as you know, uh, this item has one use, which is you can throw it at Pokemon in Pokemon battles as a consumable item and stun them. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> you piff a rock yes, you piff a, yeah, piff wow. a, it's like a pester ball. Um, <laughs> but there is perhaps someone on the island who has a better use for apricorns. <laughs> Brad will eat them. <laughs> they can be used to make Pokeballs. Yeah. Would I ever um, have heard of apricorns before? Uh, not from where you're from. Not known. Not because, and you failed your check, so not from where you're from. They're old, old, old stuff. Cool. All right. All right. I found a Pokeball replica. Someone carved it. I don't know. It might be natural. I'm not entirely sure. It just seems kind of cruel. Can I be a scientist for a second? And see if I can deduce. Maybe later you can have a think about it. Maybe when you see the next one, maybe we'll get we'll get Brad's opinion on it. Because first we need to trek north through this little rock pass as you journey through these rocks and you begin to move north onto these rickety man-made bridges as you climb in the sea foam and the sea spray starts to splash across you as the bridges move forward north. And then in front of you, you see two custom sprites that Dave made <laughs> <laughs> and then it's the bad guy. we see the rickety environment that looks really cool it's that so podcast rickety. viewers can't Blurry. hear <gasps> oh it's oh, Melanie Whoa. she's walking along it's Melanie <laughs> And in front of I'm you, struggling with the buttons again. I hate these buttons, dude. I can't work it out. It just—it's the antithesis of how my brain works. It's the opposite of how I would organize everything. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. It's just people's brains all work differently. Uh, so, we'll as you arrive, two heads turn towards you with intent in their eyes, black overalls with orange accents. <laughs> yes. eye logos on their helmets they have like construction worker helmets they've got oil splashed on their coveralls pokeballs uh, some tools equipment rope and they look over oh safety workers <laughs> they must be fixing the bridge <laughs> their eyes lock on cookie and one of them says there's a fossil pokemon Fossils are the fastest route to get oil. And they clam their, like, their tools into their hands. And their eyes widen. And in the next episode, we'll find out more about Team Ironclad uh -oh. as you get into a double battle. Yay! Our villains! <laughs> in the next episode of Pokemon! When I told you it was going to take mortality. us a whole episode to just face them. I told you. You were right. I told you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a fossil fuel reference, but here we are. <laughs> well, I mean, the, that's... Yep, you'll find out why sense. they're here. <laughs> and it may be because they think that fuel oil is made of dinosaurs, so why not go straight to the source? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. There you go. <laughs>
<laughs> that was fun, and we get we get to kick off straight into a double battle next week. Oh. Who's in the lead? That's Brad. Victor. Victor, I yeah. called you. That's the third time I've called you Brad tonight. My brain doesn't work. <laughs> Victor, who are you going to choose for your Pokemon battle? Do you think? Ooh, it's a whole lot well, to I think, think about. Uh, it. Uh, Cookie deserves a good scrap against mm. the such uh, rude individuals. But what other trainer? That's a good question. Mm. You have a week to think about it. Find yeah. out next Find week. Out next time. <laughs> no, you, have, you have a week to think about how you plead your case. Oh, <laughs> oh. As soon as the cameras go off, we're all just going to dive on Mario. No, 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 no. <laughs> thank you to our patrons who are scrolling across the screen or something. Hey, thank or something. You. That happens, right? Yeah, I'm pretty something. sure. I, ever, I, I Look get, at them it, go. it gets done in post now. I'm pretty, but yeah. Which means I'm not. Vaughn's pretty on top of it. Yeah. So I'm. Pretty sure it does, but hey, thank you to our patrons. Hey, Vaughn, can you just patrons. make it like the DVD screen and just get them bouncing all over? <laughs> this, don't. don't do he's that already to him. stressed enough. <laughs> I don't even know if he's going to manage to get it out tomorrow with the way things are. Here you go, Jed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.